going back to daytime. Well, the weather is getting better, and why not use that as an opportunity to uh, hike or bike all for a really, really great cause. And joining to tell us more is John Newfeld, who uh, seemingly is a fixture here on the show with the House of Friendship, as well as Robin MacArthur with the School of Pharma. She's a School of uh, Pharmacy student uh, here to tell us vo about Trek for Kids. Welcome to the show. So, John. Well, it's a perfect uh, remedy for the moink uh, <laughs> balls that you were discussing before. Trek for Kids is a great um, opportunity to allow us to send kids to camp from low-income families. I think a lot of us had experience with going to camp. We have got a lot of experience, um, great experiences. We all realize the, uh, what a positive experience it can be for kids. So, annually, House of Friendship uh, raises funds to send as many kids as we possibly can. Um, it all started five years ago when Eric and Kevin Martin, uh, because of their great camp experience, decided to go along the complete um, Bruce Trail. I think it was over a month that it took them to raise funds. And it sort of snowballed from there. And now this year is a record year. We have over 100 registrants so far wow. to bike, hike, yeah. or run for the day. And um, I think it's going to be great. We've got a, a huge target of 50,000 that will allow us to send over 100 kids to camp. And um, so we're excited about this Sunday, May 16th. Yeah, you talk about that camp experience mm -hmm. for kids. And it's, it's more than just being able to get out there in the tents and, you know, with the other kids. It's that fellowship when you get all together and their common experiences and the friends that they're going to meet. And in a lot of cases, these are friends that friendships that go on for a long time afterwards. Yeah, the other thing that's been really great about this year is, as always, is our community comes out and it's always interesting to see what happens from year to year. This year, um, KPMG has come out as a premier sponsor to sponsor the event, uh, they believe in that, and Eastside uh, Cycle has come out and they're going to be there at 1 o'clock, so if you come and Jay, like if your tire is mm -hmm. broken, they will actually fix it for you so that you can get on that trail, wow, or if you break down on the terrific. trail, um, they're bringing their um, staff and materials um, and we're just getting some great support from so essentially you're taking the excuses away you know all <laughs> these people have to come up a long list of reasons why they can't they can't come out to the event and folks they'll fix your tire all right no excuses <laughs> yeah well, when you talk about the, the community really rallying behind this, too, well, one of the reasons we've got Robin here is because the School of Pharmacy is working together with House of Friendship for Trek for Kids this year. Yeah, and this has been fantastic. I have to be honest with you, when they first came into my office and they told me this uh, original goal of 50000 I almost fell over. And as things have kind of come along and um, the School of Pharmacy, uh, we call them the Pharma Trekkers, and they have been absolutely fabulous and have really got... Uh, new ideas in it, so I'll just let Robin say a little bit about that. Yeah, so as a part of our community service learning program curriculum in first year, we're teamed up um, with teams of five with organizations, and I was lucky enough to be selected for the House of Friendship, so uh, we got to know a little bit about the organization and how they affect health and, you know, promote different programs around the Kitchener-Waterloo area, so we've been doing online registration, we're on Facebook, um, promoting the event as well as going around to community and seeing if we can get some incentive prizes and some more word you know raised and spread about the event so it's been a great opportunity for us to learn about House of Friendship and you know being a camp counselor myself to be involved in an event like this has been really great. We're seeing some teams from past years John. Yeah. So let me just quickly comment on the picture you're seeing there that's the uh, Martin Beer clan. Martin Beer is a former executive director and he brings out his whole family grandkids kids to do and um, Martin has already raised over 5,000 as of uh, this past Sunday that wow. team. Um, some of the other pictures that you would have seen are some of the other teams that get established. I don't know if we can flip back to any of the pictures that we missed. Yeah, That's like the it. Highland Road Baptist crew, I believe. Um, and um, so there's a lot of churches that are putting together teams or individuals representing. And that in the middle there is Eric, and I believe he's with some School of Pharmacy students, right? Yeah, so that's all of us. Um, Eric came and spoke to us about um, raising funds for uh, charitable organizations and kind of how to spread the word, and uh, he was a great help for us. So all our thanks to him and Kevin, of course, who started it as well. 
I think that's such a neat correlation between what you're doing as pharmacy students and really what you're looking at is the health of a community. As the pharmacist, you're often the, the first point of contact that somebody has when health might be an issue for them. And then taking it to that next level where, where it's sort of that umbrella of health. Long before they come in to see the pharmacist, you know, how are people keeping healthy? Biking, walking, certainly two ways. But having that whole idea of a healthy community, creating a healthy community. And, you know, this camp experience for the kids, that all goes into creating that healthy community. One other thing I wanted to throw in uh, with Mother's Day just passing, um, somebody uh, said, you know what, if, for a Mother's Day gift, you can uh, help me trek on uh, go on the trek with me and so that created this team of speed bumps and now this uh, individual <laughs> now has uh, a 10 family and friends joining her on this uh, trek and I think they've raised over two thousand dollars and that was uh, a Mother's Day so that was just there's always these great stories that come out of these events that always make them a highlight for me and I have to say a big thank you to Rogers being our media sponsor um, I'd be remiss not to uh, mention that. So. Well, it, it's just such a great event for so many different angles, and we focus, you know, on the kids that get that camp experience, but I think, too, as a mom, you know, you want to be able to provide these things for your kids, and in mm -hmm. some situations, you just can't. You can't do that. How special it would be to be able to say to your son or daughter, you know what, guess what, you mm -hmm. can go just like everybody else, you can go. So it, it spreads out, you know, those tentacles start to work out far beyond just one individual person. It's the waves that yep. keep going yep. on and, and make great things happen. Yeah, and for those people in your audience today that are wondering, you know, can I still get involved or whatever, uh, if you can't, you know, go on the, uh, the course this Sunday, you can go on our website and donate. Um, it costs about $450 per child to uh, send someone to camp so whatever um, donation people want to make through our website that would be uh, very helpful and if you are going um, you know if you come at one o'clock east side will be there to help you fix up your bike or uh, and registration starts at 1 30 and we hit the course at 2 30. and the date for this of course is this coming sunday so that's sunday may the 16th be part of the House of Friendship Trek for Kids. Have you guys been training, Robin? Oh, yeah. Working We've hard. Been running hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might not be able to surpass the School of Pharmacy, but you just get out there with your family and make some dreams come true for special kids in our community with the Campit Program. Thank you so much Thank for joining us. us. Thank you. We're back in a moment. Stay with us.